Approaching Marianas Abyssal Plain. Approaching Marianas Abyssal Plain. Depth, 734 feet. Steady as she goes. Sonar's up. Unidentified contact aft. Make a path! Take the con. Aye, Captain. It just came out of nowhere, Captain. And it's not ours. File? Sorry, Captain. There's no record she's new. Is she passive or active? Passive, sir. It's man-made, not organic. So it's not a fish, huh? She's moving like a fish. Doppler's bouncing all over the place. All right, run a track on her. Take us down another hundred feet. Hide this boat in the trench. Aye, aye, Captain. Make depth down 834 feet. Rudder left. Aye, 834 feet. Rudder left. There's some major volcanic activity in the area, Captain, and I detect temperature surges. The water temperature is rising, sir. 67 degrees, 68 degrees. 70 degrees and rising, sir. Status report. Pressure normal, hole intact. All clear, sir. Steady as she goes. We're out of range. All right. All stop. All stop, I repeat, all stop. Let's just sit silent for a while. See what she does. Engines down, power to low. Engines are down, sir. What's the time? 0836, Captain. Send a fingerprint to Admiral Hobson. Tell him we found a bogey, please advise. Yes, sir. Captain, sir, you should see this. Is that a shipwreck? I don't know, sir. I checked the chart for sunken ships and down all your platforms. There's nothing. This area has never been mapped. It's just blank. Have you seen that? What? Sir, we got bogeys on our left flank, 10 degrees. Look like a fish. Down this deep? No, it's mostly planted down here, Bogle. Captain! Damage assessment! Waiting, Captain. Nothing. Captain, 120, tracking northeast, estimated 2-0. It's clear in the engine room. Pressure is normal. Def, 2300. What's on the chart? Multi bogies closing in. Full ahead! All ahead, full? Full ahead! We're coming into starboard. Right full rudder! Right full rudder! Flood torpedo tubes! Tubes one and two are flooding. Is out there. Hold the tanks! Hold the goddamn tanks! The pressure is building! We're losing her, Captain! The tanks won't budge! We're going down! Keep trying the tanks! I'll fire the rescue buoy! <laughs> Hey, Sustin. Be careful. 
You park that thing too close, it'll pop the bubble. Didn't want you to get too comfortable. Hmm. Well, just wake me up in an hour. Sorry, sir. Your hour's up. Time to come in and review the data. All right. Okay. Get me inside. Maybe too much salinity. Every time we knock it off over 0.2 degrees. Uh, what is the word, guys? 20 minutes in the balance, still nothing. Going up, it could be you. How was it? God, you're not even wet. <laughs> I know. You should go back in there. The balance is unstable. You were getting too much carbon dioxide. And you thought you left your mother back on land. By the way, I want to go next. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it. This is the USS Abraham Lincoln. Come in. Officer Arano, this is Captain Farragut calling from the USS Abraham Lincoln. An American nuclear submarine, the USS Scotia, disappeared this morning just north of us. I've been ordered to pick up you and your crew and head straight to the Marianas Trench and find her. I've informed Admiral Hobson that you are the best recovery specialist in the entire Navy. He wants you to use Deep One to bring her up. Congratulations. Yes, sir. The Abraham Lincoln will be directly above you. The rendezvous and Dock Link at 1100 Zulu. I'll brief you further then. Sir, I promise you, if the Scotia's down there, we'll blow the water right out of her and get everybody to the surface. There's 160 men on board that boat. For their sake, I hope you're right. We'll depart right away and dock with you in two hours. Ramirez, Sustin. Change of plans. I want all lifeboats on the river. Yes, sir. Start having the men sleep in six-hour shifts. I want those bunks clear by the time the survivors arrive. Uh, sir, sir. What's the procedure if there are no survivors, sir? You're dismissed. Orders received. Approaching USS Lincoln, 500 feet and closing. Approaching docking hatch. Moving five degrees, starboard. Initiate docking sequence. Now. Captain, the Aquanaut 3 has just docked. Arano. Captain, permission to board, sir. Permission granted. Aye. Susan, I want you to start backing up the Aquan, okay? Everything that you can fit. And Ramirez, fit those casings to steel external pipes. You got it, sir. Any word from the Scotia? So how far down can your bubble go? 30,000 feet, simulated. On the field? 15, give or take. Your oxygenator is the key in saving those men. It's not ready yet, sir. It's just a six by six tank. Your orders are to attach the oxygenator to the Scotia, convert the water, and save the crew. Captain, of course, but it's best to send another ship. Arnold, we're the only boat that's going out there. There's an experimental Trident Four loaded on that class. SLBM is only limited to the Ohio class, sir. Not this one. That's why we're keeping it quiet. How many warheads are on the Scotia? I've been authorized to tell you six. Understood. Oh, and there's one more thing. Admiral Hobson has decided to put his own team leader into place. I'm sorry. Sir, I'll just focus on the human cargo and let Hobson's man focus on the metal. Who is he? Chief. It's Lieutenant Commander Conceal Rollins. Conceal? I didn't think she was a field operator, sir. I... She won't even get wet without a wetsuit. She's the best person that we have from the Admiral's desk. She knows your Aquanaut inside and out. Michael. 
She's willing to put things aside if you are. Aye, Captain. So when is the Lieutenant Commander boarding? She's already waiting for you in the briefing room. Time? 8.23. He's late. Call Captain Farragut and tell him we need a replacement now. Well, Lieutenant Aaron was getting briefed by Captain Farragut. <sighs> it's a mistake. Pardon? You need to watch Aaron closely. He's a Navy man, but with a Marine's outlook. <laughs> you know the type. Never leave a man behind. And all that hoorah jingoistic garbage. He will put us all at risk. Unless it's you I'm saving. <sighs> Don't you dare come back for me. Save one and risk everyone else. We can't play the hero all the time, Aronor. Looks like you two need a minute. I'm Lieutenant Blackwell, by the way. Nice to meet you. Do you know where I can find Ramirez and Noah Sustin? I have orders to overlook the load-in. Yeah, they're in the dock port, retrofitting the Aquanaut. From now on, orders of such nature should go through the Lieutenant Commander. You know where I'll be if you need me. Do you have a problem with him? No. Do you have a problem with me? I don't have any problems. I want to keep this relationship strictly professional. I'll hold back my urges. I want an itemized list of everything you're bringing. Why? Because I'm your commanding officer, and I want the information. All right. I'll get it to you in an hour. Ten minutes. Come on. I want it in ten. Including bios. Look, you've been briefed, right? You have dossiers and all the principles, so what is it? Not everyone on your crew has been properly vetted. And you seem to attract stragglers. You know everyone on my crew because you hired them. It's Noreen and Ramirez. Well, I can't believe they stayed. Well, of course they stayed. They're loyal and they're good people. And they've been with me on the A3 from the very beginning. I know. I hired them. Fine. Give me the latest operational data on the A3. Aye. Ten minutes. Make it nine. I mean eight. You gotta pull an inventory list for the A3. What's the pull for? Because our new lieutenant commander wants it. Who is it? My ex-wife. Okay. So this is where the distress buoy was found. But the current actually dragged it from somewhere over here. The circle of fire. It's a ring of deep sea volcanoes uncharted. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. Ships go in, but they never come out. How far down is the Scotia? <sighs> About 20,000 feet, maybe more. That's 9,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. Enough to crush a refrigerator into the size of a peanut. Yeah, but... But Aaron said the Aquanaut could take it. We had her pegged at 15. Maybe 18 tops. Chart a new course, north by 10 degrees east. Let's go to 75 knots. I'll get you to the circle of fire. After that, it's up to you.
Commander. Lieutenant. I'm looking at your uh, plan for your mini sub. Where's the hatch on this thing? There's only the dock port. You'll be fine, Blackwell. Actually, there's two. One up and one down. What about this uh, bubble box or oxygenator? It deconstructs water molecules into breathable air. We're going to attach it to the Scotia. That's possible. How many dives have you done? Well, me, I've been on a dozen or so in training. What depth? About 500 feet in a suit. More in a regular sub, you know, and a real one. Lieutenant Blackwell's qualifications are in engineering and technology rather than dive time. In other words, be gentle. <laughs> It's his first time. Oh, I got a very, very soft hand. <laughs> Is everything set? Yes, sir. Get you all strapped into the boat. Get a reading then. We'll have you guys in position in about 10 minutes. Yes, Good luck. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good luck. Okay, then. Get your crew down to the A3. Whatever you say, Lieutenant Commander. You miss it? Of course I do. You never forget your first love. Lieutenant Arano, we're operational at your command. All system go. Folks locked and loaded? Yes, sir. I want you to push this 10 degrees starboard. Here's as close as we can. Yes, sir. Can you really convert water into air? In smaller scales. Small? We've tested this at over 300 feet. We simulated it. I wouldn't want to go there. Going where? The bubble factory. You see, as water is converted to air, a bubble is created that you can go in. Inside? It's amazing. Yes, it is amazing. If it worked. Michael just did a... Lieutenant Arano just did a test. Drop in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Everybody okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You should look outside. It's incredible. years ago there was the surface of the earth trees grew on it animals roamed Lieutenant Blackwell how you doing yeah, I'm good I want you to bring the Aquanaut a little bit closer to the right. Uh, A3, this is Lincoln 1. Go 2 by 16. Radio 40 with a sideline. Do you copy? Sir, we're getting a lot of interference from below. What's their depth? 5,400 feet, sir.
I've got a read on the Scotia. 12,000 feet and closing. No way anyone survived. The pressure probably cracked the hole. Sir, we have a visual. Oh, I see her. Yeah, she's deep. Let's get as close as possible. Yes, sir. Depth, 17,000 feet. Water temperature is 41 degrees and dropping. What's wrong? Why are we shaking so much? Because each layer of water temperature we go through, it's like hitting a brick wall. It's just a matter who break first, the brick or us. We are at 21,000 feet. Hey, I'm getting some nasty internal pressure reading in here. 23,000 feet. Water temperature is 35 degrees. I think we should go back. 24,000 feet. My... We can make it to the Scotia, sir. What's happening? What, what's going on? Prepare to abort. No, we can handle it. Sir, we're losing oxygen fast. Looks like the external pipe blew out. Blew out? Well. What, through the pressure casings? Lieutenant Black will order us not to put it on. I want to go back. They wait too much. If we had them on, we wouldn't be able to get back with our cargo. Dive capacity is dropping, sir. Fuel pressure is down to 30 percent. 20. 10. Bring us back up to the Abram Lincoln. She won't respond. What do you mean she won't respond? I think we can get to the Scotia. We can tap her fuel lines and patch in the air. What? What happened? Water pressure just dropped to normal. Outside water temperature is 82 degrees. Coño. Devil Canis. Sweets. There she is, sir. The Scotia. See that? She's intact. Yeah. Sir, we're losing pressure. Can we use your bubble machine? No, listen, we're gonna put on the scuba gear. That'll give us another hour with the rebreathers. Sir, we were told not to load them. Sorry, sir. I try to tell you ahead of time. Anything else you'd like to share? Huh? Like uh, sugar in the gas tank, something like that? Dive gear at 20,000 feet? It's ridiculous. There's a lot of weight we didn't need. Officer Aaron, what's going on down there? We've lost our power and our oxygen in the dive, sir. I'm approaching the Scotia, sir. We'll be OK. Dock us on the Scotia. OK, Sustin? Let's hope she's not flooded out. Why? We need still some air. Contact. I'm reading it as a pocket of air in the center of the chamber. Sir, I'm getting vibrations on the Doppler. I think there might be life in there. Just turn that down. Dark link on the Scotia is broken, sir. Are there any tears in the hull that we can dock to? Sustin, use the remote and hook it to the bubble box. Let's see if we can reverse the water flow. That is just wasting time. I say we take advantage of the low pressure pocket. We swim for it. No suit, no gear. I open the top hatch manually. Low pressure? Low pressure. Looks like it's the only few feet from the surface. We need to do as ordered. There are people down there. Attach oxygenator to the hull. Ready, power supply. A 
Sustin, status. The bubble box is attached, sir. We've sprung an oxygen leak. Losing it fast. We've got to go back. We need to set the remote. Turn it on. There's no time to go back. Oxygen continuing to vent. Almost out. Sir, we have to do something. Just breathe, everybody. Just breathe. Swim. We swim. Sustin. Come with me, please. That's Lieutenant Arono. Follow me. This way. Michael. Good to see you all. I knew you were okay. What is this place? We're not dead, if that's your next question. Is an underwater refuge we don't know about? I mean, I just don't understand. What do you know? We didn't build it. I can't figure this out. I've seen Chinese markings. Konya, we're a prisoner of war. Know it. Any word from the Lincoln? No. I should have stayed on the Lincoln. This isn't right. Well, I think it's a better option. What are you saying? Welcome to the Nautilus. I am Captain Nemo. Lieutenant Michael Arano, U.S. Navy. I know who you are, and why you're here. Are you hungry? If you're up to it, I would like you all to be my guests at dinner tonight. Thank you, Captain Neo. But we need to radio our CO. I'm sure you understand. Done and done. Captain Farrago of the USS Lincoln is a very lovely man. You... you talk to Captain Farrago? Of course. Your rescue is assured. But we'd like to make arrangements ourselves. Of course. Not an issue. You have a radio? Right, right, right. It will have no effect now. We're in the Titan Straits. Below us is one of the largest volcanoes on the planet. There's literally no radio reception for us in at least five hours. What? <sighs> you're acting as though you're my prisoners. How fantastic. Look, soon you'll come to see how silly all of this is. As soon as we get above the thermal canopy, you can radio whomever you like. But for now, relax. Enjoy yourselves. You got a beer? How many would you like? How many you got, puppy? I find all this rather a great stroke of luck that I should rescue you five. It's good karma. We should embrace it. 
Did Captain Farragut mention that we're on a rescue mission? No, he didn't mention it. Well, there are a hundred people trapped on a submarine. Your sub, the Aquanaut Tree, is in one of our salvage bays. Our boys are working on it right now so that you can once again roam the ocean. Well, let's see how far they've got. Maybe we can help you with your rescue operation, hmm? Sir, I can put the casing on the bay in half an hour. Should be fine in any depth. Already done. In fact, I've made some modifications of my own. Modifications? I hope you don't mind. Yes, sir. Please take these lovely people to salvage bay number 12. Yes, sir. Uh, you two can stay. My crew are still working. You have a few minutes, please. Indulge me. I think I should stay behind with you two. Nonsense. I've arranged some wonderful exotic fruits in the transit bay. So, how long have you two been married? I'm an excellent judge of character. So, did you build the Nautilus? My concept, my vision, but the work that took decades with thousands of dedicated craftsmen. For an underwater cruise ship. <laughs> Oh, don't mock me. It's not a cruise ship. It's a lifestyle. It's a dream. It's a glimpse at our future. Underwater? Sure. Eccentric billionaire designs underwater floating city. Sounds like something from a book. Hmm? So how many people does it hold? Tens of thousands. Down here, everything is new. Around every corner, a new species, a new concept, a new ecosystem. Then you're a research vessel. Sure. Look at this. It's incredible. This device allows you to breathe underwater. Even the most advanced scuba gear is now antiquated. It's brilliant. Like you, I love to invent and discover things. Take, for example, the A3, your mini-sub. It took me 30 years to design the Nautilus to dive this deep. And here you are, swimming around with those treacherous squids. Sounds like you already know a lot. I know that our time together is limited that you will be on your way, but there is a place here for you to. I have great admiration for those who push the limits and expand our horizons. I'll think about it. Yes, yes, the Scotia. Let's go save a bunch of people, shall we? The Nautilus is actually more like a floating city than a submarine. We have multiple levels with guest rooms, restaurants, entertainment. He's cute. You can get anything you want here. But we also have science labs, medical facilities, and of course, salvage banks. It's amazing what you can find at the bottom of the ocean. Let's load in. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay. Oh, let him stay. 
Then I can show him around. He's going to have a hell of a lot of stories to tell when you come back. Let's get into the Aquanaut. Go salvage the Scotia. Very good. Don't know how to thank you, Captain. We'll save everyone. That would be a great thank you. Deal. Fix the hole in my chair. Systems check. Doppler check. Generator's juiced. Showtime. My steering's locked. I can't type in my coordinates. The hydraulics are blocked. Nemo, what did you do to my sub? This is Captain Nemo. I didn't mention this before, but I've installed a remote control device to assist you in leaving our transit bay. A remote control? Find it. I'm bringing you out now. I have you at three minutes to touchdown with the Scotia. Captain, we're gonna take it from here on our own. Well, uh... And I now have control of the ship, and I'm heading to Darkport. You really know how to make friends. Steady as she goes. This is the Aquanaut rescue sub to the USS Scotia. How do you read? Aquanaut to Scotia, come in. There's an access hatch on the starboard side. We need to volley to that dock. Bring us right to the dock port. I'm sure we can pawn it into place, sir. <gasps> sir? <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> on the horn. Aquanaut to Nautilus, do you read me? This is the Nautilus, I read you. Calm down. I'll take care of anything. First, reattach the remote control device. Reattach them! Now! Fine. Ramirez, reattach them. It's a touch, sir. All right, Nemo, we're attached. Thank you. <laughs> Masterful creatures, those squids. Those were squids? Well, not exactly. You see, new things discovered every day. What are you doing now? I am deploying the salvage port. We're going to bring everything and everyone back on board the Nautilus immediately. I am remotely using your tether arm. Sir, we've docked on the Scotia. Where are we going? I don't want you to leave anything behind. Especially this. We can't have your unique device left in such a harsh environment. Sir, he's... Son of a bitch. What is he doing? 
He's grabbing the oxygenator. So are we heading back? Do you want me to pull the remote? No. There's people in there. And there's people in here. You rip that remote out and those things are coming back. And your point is? Guys, what do you want me to do? We were almost there, Nebo. We could have saved them. Sorry, sir, they insisted on speaking with you. It's fine. It is not fine. First you tether my boat, then you make me abort my mission before it's completed. Michael. And where were you? We needed you. Michael, the people in the Scotia are dead. Bullshit. There was breathing. There was movement. The hulls were flooded. You heard water. That's not true. We could have saved them, Nemo. I'm not going to leave a hundred men out to die. I'm not evil. We're trying to save. Save people with the Nautilus. I want to go back in there. You tried. Hey, Blackwell, remember whose team you're on, all right? What's that supposed to be? Michael. What? Shortly after your team arrived, we spotted the Scotia. I sent a rescue team there. How'd that work? You were right. They were alive. We counted more than 50. It was a great moment, but those Creatures. I lost six good men trying to rescue your team. Michael. One of them was a dear, dear friend. I'm sorry. I used you to drive the Aquanaut because I was unfamiliar with that technology. And I wanted to see for myself this oxygen converter you've created. But there was no one left on the Scotia. No one. So what, Nemo? What can we do for you? What do you want from us? You want my experiments? You want the oxygenator? What? I have to be so careful. It's a city. This is the eighth continent of the world. Yes, known to the ancients as Mu, the land of Lemuria. It's Atlantis. A place of untold riches and wisdom. 10,000 years ago, it disappeared into the sea, and now I've found it. Lost no more. Lost no more. And you need my oxygenator. Well, as you see, these streets would live again, a utopia in the most real sense. But it's just a prototype, Nemo. We can't build it more than 10 by 10. You can't, but I can. How? Ah. Now you're curious. <laughs> I like that. You see the big picture. See, there is good in the world, and you are helping to create it. The machine's too unstable. Down here, you can live for 200 years. Think of it. Works of art, the sum of all human knowledge. This is the library of Alexandria, the Ark of Noah, the Shangri-La. What about, what about the people that don't buy into your... Your utopia, your new world. What about them? Gonna escort these people out. Blackwell and Arano, you stay. It's okay, go ahead, I'll catch up. On the one hand, I can see the awe and wonder in your eyes. 
I can sense you want this very badly. But on the other, you have a false sense of loyalty to a failing world. I know I can't convince you to see my position, but meet me halfway. Order is a breach, Captain. Ships are coming fast. Well, classify the boat. What is it? It looks like a Seawolf class sub, sir. Large and heavily armed. Could be Philippine Navy or American Coastal Guard out of Guam. Course, course is for here, sir. Right above us, like they're looking for something. She's scanning us. Yes, sir. Infrared and standard sonar sweeping the area. I can tease, isn't she? Ever so coy. You gotta contact them, Nemo. Look, I know this is a big ship, but you can't go up against the U.S. Navy. Even you can see that. I need you to see that they are the enemy. They want to stop this. All of this. Before I can resurrect my Atlantis. Who's they? The military? Everyone. Everyone on land. Every sad, pathetic, worrisome little cretin above water. They breathe air that is contaminated. They eat food that is full of bacteria. They bathe in filth. The Earth is dead. But we don't see it. We're like maggots feeding off us. Rock corpse. It's time to make a stand, Blackwell, don't you agree? Starting hydromagnetic engines. Make us up! Yes, sir, starting hydromagnetic engines. Switching engines in five, four, three, two, one. Hyperbolic equalizers engaged. Secure all personnel for rapid ascent, leaving deep ocean basin, entering pelagic environment. Nemo, stay at this depth. You're safe here. We're not safe anywhere. We're approaching the midway point. We're looking at a Seawolf class, sir. Approximately 350 feet, up to 25 knots. Intercepting some radio traffic, sir. Let me hear it. They picked us up, sir. What is it? Ready to see what we're fighting for? Are you scared? Four and five locked, sir. Oh, don't run, little boy. Don't run. You're going to make my little Maluska very angry. <laughs> Target has seen us and is turning hard to port. You control these things? I control a lot of things. Did you down the Scotia? It's unfortunate, but... Sometimes I struggle with the ethics of so many lives wasted for my perfect place, my Shangri-La in the sea. Should we send a salvage team, sir? No, there's no time. Take her down to the bottom. I think we should hit it again, sir, before they send out an SOS. They've already radioed the Navy. We're no longer a secret. Take on the whole U.S. Navy. Gunner, take Mr. Adano down to the holding cell with the others. Yes, sir. Do with those, Nemo. Hold 
Holding steady at 25,000 feet, Captain. What's the nearest ship? Battleship, approaching from the south. At its present course, it'll miss us by eight miles. Tell if it gets within three. Yes, sir. Blackwell, show me how to launch those nuclear missiles. Because our situation here has changed. Mr. Arano's molecular oxygenator was the last piece of a large puzzle. There's no reason to wait any longer on the rest of the plan. What? Now? Tonight? Soon, these waters will be full of ships. Far more than the Nautilus or the Sentinels can stop. By this time tomorrow, we will no longer exist. seen the truth, and so will you very shortly. Watchdog? Who are you? United States Merchant Marine Billy Cooper, sir. Abducted. Subic Bay, Philippines. Subic Bay, huh? How long have you been here? A long time, sir. Look, we don't have much time. I have a deal for you. What do you want from me? I want to go home, sir. Will you take me with you, please? Look. I know everything about this place. All the back passages, all the door codes. I even know where your friends are. All of them? They're together. Nemo's pleasure dumps. He keeps people there till they come around and see things his way. I can help you get them all back, but you gotta take me with you. Our stack them according to range. Long range, medium range, short range. Short range, how far can they go? Guam, the Pacific Fleet, area bases. And the others? Medium reach Japan, South Korea, Hawaii. Long range, easily California, maybe Texas. Amazing. Thank you, Blackwell. With your help, the surface world will be nothing but death and devastation by the day's end. Blackwell. Uh, how long will it take to hold them? About 40 minutes each, and another 40 to punch in the target sequences. Okay. It's clear. Take me there now. What's this? Brain scan. It's like a re-education tool. I call it the zombie meat. The brainwashing is all pheromone based. It can make you loopy, but it works quickly. That's how Blackwell turns so fast. This is the mainframe. I can shut this off from here. Each one of these units are connected to each other. You can access your team through these goggles. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. And if we don't get to them soon, they'll be under Nemo's control. <laughs> <laughs> she okay now? I gotta take that thing out of her face? Right. Seal. Hey, Conceal. Wake up. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Okay? You lie. Me. Well, yeah, I like it. You love me. Well, I'll go find the others. Um, that's a good idea. Mm. Ow! What's that for? Taking advantage of me. You kissed me! <laughs> Hardly! Well, we gotta get out of here, okay? Can I help you? Uh, Let me help I, you. I can do this. Fine. I have it. Okay. Why don't you sit down over there, okay? Let me get him 
squirt away. There's the front. Hey, nurse. Oh, buddy. Time to wake up, man. Ramirez okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. All right, man, up we go. Here we go. You could have had everything. Nemo is a visionary. You see, Nemo, it's just not the same when you have to brainwash people to follow you. I was willing to give you so much. Well, I guess you really can't trust free will, can you? Michael. Humanity isn't about free will. Religion isn't free will. Military isn't free will. Government isn't free will. Simple relationships aren't free will. Free will is anarchy at its core. And who wants that? We all desire to be controlled. We crave it. We seek it out. Why don't you just let us go? What do you want with us, anyway? We need you. You're one of us. The Oxygenator. The Aquanaut. You love to create. To explore. And you're just the tip of the iceberg. With our resources and support, think of the new inventions to help mankind. You know what? You make it sound so noble. But whose mankind would I be helping? Huh? Yours or the world's? The Earth world is dead. We've been defecating on it for centuries. But the new world, the underwater world, the new Atlantis, and it's yours, all yours. And the nuclear missiles in your transit bay? Are they part of your new world? Those are from your world. Excrement we picked up from ships we've come across. And I assure you that they are to be dismantled and not to be used, Michael. I can see you, Ramirez. I deplore violence. Now, let's turn around and head back to the Ramirez, what are you doing, man? What the hell? Why don't you listen to me, Michael? You're trying to help. Well, it appears that some of us have come to our senses. It's me. It's Michael. We didn't get to Ramirez in time. He's brainwashed. Ramirez, give us the gun. Cooper, you're going to regret this. Ramirez, shoot him! I make the deal! No! Conceal! I helped Michael with the early designs for the molecular restructuring. I was an engineer on the prototype for the Aquanaut 3. I know it almost as well as he does. I was brought on this mission because I know its operations. I know you need the oxygenator. I know you want it to help build the Atlantis. But in exchange, he doesn't die. Bring her down to the transit bay with Blackwell. Do this in stages. Well, I will need the first stage to begin soon. How soon? Immediately. Presently, our air supply comes from the surface, and I'm expecting that to be compromised rapidly. So you're on your own? In 15 minutes, we will be on our own. 
I can have the first stage ready to oxygenate in ten minutes. Captain, what do you want done with the traitor and his little friend? I need an escort. I would hate to take any chances, even if you are as delicate as you appear. Keep your hands where I can see them. Let's move. Shoot them! First person moves, Captain gets a bullet through his neck. Put your guns down on the ground, now! 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 Put them on the ground, now! Put your hands on your head and turn around! Sustin, get in the aquanaut, get it fired up, now! Conceal, go! device and attached our own. What happened to your arm? Uh, you're sure? I'm okay. Where's Cooper? He's dead. At least we got Ramirez back. He wasn't in the machine long. He should be okay soon. Sustin, make it to the surface. We have to get above the volcano to make contact. Detach, sir. Getting ready to make the ascent. Sustin, we need to go faster. I'm trying, sir. I need to see your wounds. I need to see how severe your injury is. It's okay. Michael! Sir, the A1 is not responding. Hey, did we dump the water tanks? I'm flipping switches, but... There's something caught in the propellers. I'll go. I'll go. I'll take care of it. Stay here and get us out of here. Don't be ridiculous. I didn't just save you so you could drown. I can clear the propellers. You need to stay here on your sub and get us to the surface. <sighs> Look, he's going to launch those nuclear missiles. We have to warn the military. <sighs> okay. I can do it. Here. Take this. Be careful. Get Blackwell on the radio. Turn the ship around. We, we have to get that oxygenator back. Sir, the remote is unresponsive. It may be damaged. Then get it working now. We must not let them get away! Sustin, how is Conceal doing? I don't have a visual, but the propeller is unresponsive. in your sights. Blackwood! We will have the A3 under our control momentarily. How long until the missiles can be launched? I need eight minutes to finalize the trajectories. Then I can launch the missiles. Very good. Then we have eight minutes to get that device back. Captain, we have multiple ships coming into view. Then we have no time to lose! We must recover the oxygenator! Open hatches for torpedo launch! Nautilus is on our tail. She's heading right for us, sir. We can take her down, but I can't go up. Cut aft propeller. Prepare to dive. But conceal. She has a tether. Hold on. Sir, the A3 is descending. Descend! 30 meters! Descending 30 meters, Captain. Right engines, full! Right full engines. Oh, come on! Come on, man! Right engines! Sir, the A3 is hiding in the trenches. Sir, they're not swimming by. I think we lost it. Conceal. We have to pull her in. Ramirez, let's go! 
If I'm not back in ten minutes, I want you to leave without me. Sir. Sustin. That's an order. Come on, I need help with a tether. Come on, let's go! Ah, damn it, the wench isn't responding. We have to pull her in manually. Sir, conceal us down at the end of the rope. I'm going down to find her. Sir, they've entered the cliffside. It's too small for the Nautilus. Release the Sentinels. We've got squid! Michael went into the water to look for Conceal. I need to blow the life raft! If you blow the raft, we could lose them both. I need to blow the raft, sir! I need to blow the life raft, sir! Wait for Michael! I need to blow the raft! Wait! We need to do it now! Sir, they've neutralized the squid. Michael's inside. Let's get out of here. Ramirez, check the starboard view for conceal. Sustin, anything? I see her. I see her, sir. Conceal? No. Sorry. What is it, then? The USS Scotia, right where we left her. What do you want me to do? Can we ascend? No. Then dock us to the Scotia, and let's pray it still works. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Captain, the A3 has found the Scotia. I know. Blackwell, the time is at hand. Prepare all missiles for launch. I should have gone. I don't know what she was trying to prove. She was trying to save your life. She was trying to tell you she still loves you. Sir, we can't wait any longer. We have to get on the Scotia. I know. Let's move. It's the hatch. This time? Oh, shut up and kiss me. Scotia is live, sir. Don't damage that vessel. I need that oxygenator. It's the key to Atlantis. Sir, we have the remote on the A3 working. We will bring her in now. Conceal, help me with this hatch. It's not stuck. There's a high pressure pocket. Got it. Sir. Is everyone okay? Looks like everybody's breathing, right? The bubble maker. Blow it out. It worked. I can't believe it. I don't see how. 
how all that water can be converted to air in this space, this size space. Uh, Activated the remote on the A3. Captain, we're gonna have you and your crew topside ASAP. Hang in there. She's all charged up and ready to go. I'm not getting a strong enough signal yet. Have you converted the emergency power? Yeah, they're coming on. All right, she's on. Holding steady at 25,000 feet, Captain. <laughs> Good. I'm going to need you to move over to that red valve to your right. Right there, whoa. Okay. Okay, you got to turn it one full turn clockwise. Ugh, it's stuck. It's not stuck. Just use your elbow grease. Come on. Flood phase one and two. Put it to a flight, sir. Now that my oxygenator is safe, blow up the Scotia. Prepare torpedoes. Lock coordinates. Prepare base of flooded, sir. Ready to fire. One minute to countdown. Aim for the propeller. Can you help me? I, can I help. can't help you. I'm busy over okay. here. I got to do stuff over here. Turn it this way. Uh. Torpedoes are ready, Captain. Fire! Fire torpedo one. It's moving. A little more. Got it. All right, hold on. Direct hit, sir. Full stop. Stop all engines. All engines stop. We're fine. No hope reaches. We can't take another hit. Don't worry. I reset the remote to target the controller's signal. She's on her way to the Nautilus. The oxygenator should start a chain reaction with the warheads. Blackwell. Captain. Once we are fully stopped, begin the countdown. Yes, sir. Launching missiles in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Launch the Trident now! Disarm the warheads! Disarm them! Warning! Hull breach! Hull breach! USS Scotia, 
Anybody copy? U.S. Scotia, I'll repeat. This is the USS Scotia. Anybody copy? This is the USS Scotia. Anybody copy? Officer Arado. Yes! <laughs> What's going on down there? Ah! Yes! We got her, sir. Arado, identify your vessel. This is the USS Kosha! Where are you? What's your status? 21 seconds north, latitude. 142 minutes, 11 seconds latitude. Do you read me? Uh, A3, this is Lincoln 1. Go 2 by 16. Radio 40 with a sideline. Do you copy? Admiral Hobson, inform me that your discussion was lost at sea four days ago. Yes, sir. How long would it take you to send a tether down there and tow them up? Five minutes. Do it. Stand tight. We're sending down a line for you. Yes, sir. Let me speak with Captain Anderson. Hi, yes, sir. Captain. Sir, Captain Anderson, USS Scotia. We have 17 dead and 148 survivors, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Aye, sir. I'm on your command, Captain. Take it away. If I show you something, can you keep a secret? Just for a while. Just so we figure out what to do. How did you get these? These are Nemo's plans, these private blueprints. 